Uh, why do you think there's been so many arrests here at the Occupy Wall Street movement? That's a great question as well. I, I would like to know the answer. Because there haven't really been any at the, at the Tea Party rallies, but there have been quite a few we've seen on TV here, well, thousands. Yeah, and, and you saw uh, innocent people standing there giving the peace sign get pepper sprayed. I mean, yeah, we, we want to know the answer to that question too. Like, why are there so many arrests? of peaceful protesters. I don't think you've seen any footage where anyone was violent from our movement. Um, there have been a lot of arrests, uh, just in general, say, over the last couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that is? Uh, why is that? Because, I mean, we look, you look at something with the Tea Party rallies, there haven't been that many arrests at all. We're not going away, and we're coming back larger. You We're will coming be back exposed. larger. You will be exposed. You will be exposed. Um, well, I think if you're talking about arrests now versus arrests historically, I think honestly a lot of it has to do with these substances that are being used here. The interest of power is to keep power, and the Tea Party is, you know, whether they know it or not, keeping that power. And so it's something. I mean, even though the, the Democrats who are in charge don't like the Tea Party. Right, well, are they... I mean, they'd like to stop. I mean, the Democrats also take bribes, as far as I can okay. see. It. So you think they're well, basically part of the same? Well, Democrats are know. just as evil as Republicans. Okay. Well, J.P. Morgan donated, what was it, like 41 million to the NYPD the other day? It's, like I said, these it's the collusion of big business and government. You've seen a lot of people get arrested from the Occupy Wall Street movement. Non-violent But protests. there have been no, you don't think any of those people were harassing cops or egging the cops no, on? No, I never saw it. Even when the Tea Party has been loaded rifles and handguns to left-wing rallies, they're political, they don't get arrested. I made it very clear uh, that on Saturday I felt things had changed and that things were deteriorating. And then on Monday, uh, seeing a gentleman uh, in Woodruff Park with an AK-47 assault rifle continued my feeling uh, that this was deteriorating. We got sold. We actually want to get this shit done. We don't want to, you know, sit around screaming and ranting about nothing. Well, you got tricked into be arrested too. They're tricked? All the NYPD tricked them, right? Okay. Now, I can see that all the time. They're but, tricky, uh, that NYPD. And I had no choice. I had my hands up in the air. I'm like, I'm on the sidewalk. I have a right to be on the sidewalk. This is a public So you place. think they've been told, dress people no matter what, just get people in jail? Yes. Okay. Yes. And when we were taken down to the precinct, we were told that that's just what they're that's doing. That's what they're, they're doing. Do you think the fact that all these protests are, are, that the police are starting to get involved, do you think that takes away from the message that you guys are trying to convey at all? Well, not, if, if anything, it just adds validity to what we're doing. I mean, you know, just think about how they treated the Tea Party rallies. Those guys had armed weapons, they had weapons on them, they were being more violent. And we're just trying to, we're peacefully protesting in park. And in certain cities like, you know, Denver and Oakland, they use rubber bullets and tear gas. I mean, why is that? Why are they doing that? And obviously, someone needs to like our message. Those people that are in charge are really pushing for actions against us. Okay, so you think there's sort of a collusion there between the cops and businesses? Okay. We, we remain peaceful in, in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. in Wall Street and still these things and police brutality still continues. So at the end of the day, it's never, they're going to get tired of us. As soon as it's going to grow so big, they're going to get scared. Are you guys worried about the police coming, breaking this up? Uh, not for the time being. It seems to be politically expedient for them to let us stay here. They haven't, we, they haven't said boo to us. I believe in those other cities where there has been some violence that the Occupy, occupiers bear any responsibility for it? I wouldn't no. know. I wouldn't I, know. I don't think so. You don't think so? I, I, you think I, it's I, all the police? The police is attacking them, and they're going to retaliate. Come on, man. And I four nine two four two. That's sad, but true. We, we this is a nonviolent program, organization, bro. We do not believe in violence whatsoever. There's some violence, but it's mostly just sort of chaos. Well, why do you think that's happened at these places? I mean, what do you think the catalyst for it is? I haven't. I haven't seen any violence right. erupting, but I guess. I guess maybe maybe they want to uh, defeat themselves by because the thing is the only way the establishment knows how to deal with people is through violence, and if they can if they can like 
push against us and then get us to react, then they have us right where they want us. Hey, hey, get this right here. It says, uh, work will set you free. Now, wasn't that the, the slogan, the, the, the words that were over the entrance to Auschwitz in the Nazi, Nazi death camp? I'm just, I think, it, I think it's pretty.